Bones, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel on what is a very hot day. Very hot. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys asking for a makeup collection video and I love watching those. I have such a passion for, it's very sad, things that are very organised in small spaces. So looking at how people organise their lipsticks and mascaras, I just, it speaks to me in a very strange way. I admit that that's odd, but hey, I'm not where I want to be with my makeup organisation. It's better than it was and it's better than it has been, but it's, it's not there. It's not there. But if we wait for it to be there, we could be waiting years. So I figured, let's just film it today. Let's do it. You guys want to see it. Hooray. Compulsory disclaimer that we all know and love. Um, this isn't me being like, look how many eyeshadows I have. I'm a fabulous person. Um, because that is not how you judge how fabulous a person is. On the flip side of that, for someone with a makeup related YouTube channel, my makeup collection isn't like huge. So let's just cover all the bases. Don't judge me for having too much makeup. Don't judge me for not having enough makeup. Let's just look at the makeup and enjoy that. Ironically, I know with my face in this state, I look like someone who has never owned a lick of makeup, but it is just because it is so hot today, you guys. If I put anything on my face, it is just melting straight back off. So apologies that I look like a thumb. I just can't, I just can't. Without any further ramblings, let's just get on with it. So this is where my makeup currently lives. I have these Alex drawers from Ikea because I am a walking stereotype. And I, I don't know, like I said, it's not done. It's not how I want it. I want a big mirror up there on that wall. I want, I don't know what I want. I just know it's not this, okay? So over on this end, I have this little basket from Danelm, I think, and this has like my everyday essentials. So I have my pill pot, I'm popping more pills than the Wolf of Wall Street at the moment, I feel like. I have my deodorant, some eye cream, I have uh, my cellar water and makeup remover because, hey, I wear a lot of things on my face. Uh, hand cream, aloe vera gel by Forever Living, which I could not exist in this world without. It is fantastic for burns and spots and everything, basically. Uh, night cream from Aldi, who would have guessed. Uh, my hairdryer in here as well. And a key card that I accidentally stole from a hotel in Mexico, um, which is great for doing winged liner, so there's that. Next, I have all my eyeshadow palettes here in this little container that I bought from, I want to say Home Sense, and it is perfect for what I need it for. I've got all my big palettes up here, Elf, Naked, my Z palettes in there. Ooh, they've collapsed, okay. Um, all my Live Love London palettes are in the front here. Three sets of tweezers. I find with tweezers, either I can't find any or I have a million. So there's that. I have some little palettes in here and these ginormous false eyelashes that have been chilling in the box for about three years because when am I ever going to wear those? Next I have my mirror from number seven. It's great because one side is magnified and dirty, that's embarrassing. Then moving on, I have this little desk organizer that I also got from Home Sense. This is where I keep my hair stuff, so my curling wand is in here, my GHDs, brushes and combs live in this compartment, and then in this little section here, I have my spare barrels for my new me titan 3 i have the glove also i also have several wig caps in here so make of that what you will and then the last thing i have up on here is also from home sense a bit of a home sense addict as you can see and it is this super handy spinning organizer that i keep all my makeup brushes in it's so convenient that it spins you guys it is just so convenient 
Next, moving down into the drawers. In the top drawer is where I keep all of my lip products. So I have these super handy lipstick organizers that I got from Amazon. I will link those in the description box. Mine are not full, as you can clearly see, but they're so useful because I can instantly tell when I'm missing a lipstick. Do I have paint in my nails? Yes, how embarrassing. Please excuse me, you guys. I'm just a pig. Anyway, I can instantly tell when one is missing, and because I'm a little bit OCD and keep all my lipsticks in colour order, I instantly know which one it is. So that's very useful. For lipsticks like these Calvin Klein ones that don't give you an example of what the colour looks like anywhere on the tube, I just made my own. Um, all it took was a little bit of double-sided sticky tape and a hole punch and some paper. And look, now I can clearly see all my colours, except these two. I haven't got around to doing those two yet, so no judgement. Okay, and then back here I've got my lip balms, and then I've got some lip glosses back here. What's this? Number 7, Benefit, Clinique, black lipstick for Halloween, which is, it's seen better days, you guys. Um, and then just, yeah, some mini lip glosses back here. Then we have the Crate of Doom, where all my big, like, chunky lip crayons and stuff live that won't fit standing up in the drawer. What I really want is to get one of these, but longer, that they can fit in and sit up here somewhere. I'm envisioning it. It looks fabulous, but I can't find anything like this but like tall to put lip gloss in. It's really frustrating and stressful. So right now they all live in this little basket and I mean yeah. So of course I have all of my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains in here. There are many. They just keep coming and coming and coming. And then I have some just like ordinary lip glosses like this old school. I don't really wear lip gloss that much anymore. Oh, I have my NYX butter glosses in here and my intense butter glosses. It's hard to keep track of what is actually in here. There's some Vaseline in here. Like, it's all going on. It is a big hot mess and it really bothers me, but that is a job for another day. Down here I have my Lush Lip Scrub, some spare little cotton rounds, and way in the back, back there, is my makeup bag uh, for when I need to take my makeup outside. And then my Tangle Teaser just sits in here as well. Okay, moving to the next drawer down, this is where we have powders of every sort. So along on the right hand side where I have this, it could be made to measure, tub that I got from TK Maxx in the kitchen department. It's meant to go in your fridge, but look how perfect it is. Like you couldn't, you couldn't design it to be more perfect. I have my bronzers here. These are Physicians Formula. I don't know what you are. NYC number seven Benefit. Then we move on to face powders. So I've got NYX, Soap and Glory, Rimmel, then blush is all up here. Got my Milani, Urban Decay, Live Love London, Nars, Elf. It's everyone is chilling out back there. And then I have this little basket here for everything that kind of just doesn't fit into this, pretty much. These baskets, by the way, I got from the pound shop and they came in packs of two and I've got some bigger ones as well. They're so useful, you guys. So in here is where I've got things like uh, liquid blush and highlighters, this giant thing that won't fit anywhere else. I've got my Mary Luminizer in here. Uh, this giant blush by Wet n Wild lives in here too. And my liquid bronzer, which is just fabulous. So, so fabulous, you guys. And then at the back here, I have these Lucenza beauty brushes that I've never used and probably never will. And then these Live Love London palettes, the contour and highlighting palettes live in there as well. Okay, next draw. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So this is where all my foundation lives. I have a few of the L'Oreal True Match foundations. They are my favourite and I like to have backups and several different shades. Please don't judge. Have this Maybelline Fit Me foundation 
Revlon. I've got a couple of YSL foundations here, which they used to be my favourite, but I've kind of gone off them recently, not gonna lie. I have this mousse one by Maybelline, this is number seven, and then my disgusting beauty blender lives in here that could really do with a wash. Okay, and just behind this, in this little basket, is where all my concealers live. So, my Kick-Ass Concealer, MAC, Maybelline, Fit Me, by whoever makes this one. Who is this? Maybelline again, Physicians Formula, L'Oreal, and then my ultimate must-have in life, which is my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Then in this basket is where all my BB creams and primers live. It is, again, a hot mess. I have a bunch of these Garnier BB creams in here right now because they were on offer for, like, £2 or something. So I got a lot of those. I stocked up, like, some kind of extreme couponer. I don't know. It's quite embarrassing. So in here, I have like Revlon, Soap and Glory, who else lives in here? Uh, Clinique, this Professional, which is an oldie and a goodie. Oh, this, which I am really in love with at the moment. This is the number seven Protect and Perfect um, Day Cream. So it's not really a primer, but it, it kind of is. Uh, YSL, some of these have seen better days. Oh, I have this one in here, this L'Oreal Nude Magic BB Cream. I really don't like that one, you guys. I may as well just, like, throw it out, but I don't know. And then right at the back, hidden away, I have my little stash of face wipes. At one point, I think I had something ridiculous, like 12 packets in there, but I've, um, I've brought that down now. Then moving on to the next draw, we are out of the makeup now and just into general girly stuff. So these little draw dividers I have from Ikea, they're so useful. And in this one is just all my nail polish and nail files and all nail type things. As you can tell, <laughs> I really don't take very good care of my nails. So this is really just a facade. Um, and then in this one, I have all my like hair stuff, hair ties, headbands, ribbon, I don't know. All the hair stuff is in there. And then in this little pot back here, I have like little clips and underneath all of those, that's where my bobby pins live. So they are always accounted for because it's difficult to keep track of bobby pins. We all know this. Then I have some nail polish remover. This little thing, which is so useful. I had it for Christmas. It stands up and you just put your nail polish in there so it doesn't spill all over the carpet and force your parents to shout at you for days. And then I have this pointless little fairy princess headband that is relevant to nothing, but that's where that lives. And then Q-tips in here, some kind of festive false nails. And then back here, I have another one of these drawer dividers and you can't actually really get into it. It's full of just spare makeup bags for when I'm traveling. But the one thing I will say about these Alex drawers is they are really long. Like if you can see, they're so long. But you have all this space back here that's wasted because they don't come out the whole way. So that's kind of annoying. The bottom drawer is just hair stuff, so I have my hot rollers, uh, this is a little Clinique tin where the things that hold the hot rollers live, hair clips, that's the word. And then my sleeping rollers live here as well. Okay, next side you guys, and in the top drawer is where I keep my kind of day-to-day -day stuff. So I have my contact lenses and my glasses in here, a pack of face wipes, again. I have these little miniature Elizabeth Arden face creams that I had from a blogging event I went to recently. I've been using these every morning and night and I have been loving them. Then I have a bunch of perfumes back here, so Beyonce, Estee Lauder, Jimmy Choo. This one is Pink by Next and it's really cheap but it smells so good. Then I have these little pots back here that keep my contact lenses safe, but they always just end up in the bottom of my bag anyway, so I don't know. And then just some cotton rounds in here. Like, these drawers are nowhere near full. You get so much storage space from these drawers, you guys. Next, eyes. Okay, 
So these are all my little like eyeshadow quads or singles that I haven't yet put into my Z palette. So those wet and wild ones are all living down there. Ooh, Rimmel. And then my colour tattoo by Maybelline, I think. I want to say Maybelline. Um, all that kind of stuff lives in here. The moving back is random. It's so random. So I have these little uh, gel stick-ons for my eyes when I was doing cheer competitions. And then I have these like little colour couture pigments that I never use. But I have so many of them. So I need to work on using those. And this little Victoria Jackson survival kit, which is really nice, but I have not used in a long time. Then on this side is where all my eyeliners and mascaras live. I got this little tub in Ikea in the kitchen section as well. It's nice because it has this little ridge in the middle to keep everything separate. Um, and yeah, but apart from that, hot mess, hot, hot mess. So generally lots of different eyeliner pencils. I've got cool pencils in here. I've got gel liner. I've got these little like felt tip liners that I'm really into at the moment. It's all going on in here, including like white, brown, purple, black, everything. It's just all going on. And then in this one is where all the mascaras live. So I have this Estee Lauder mascara primer, which I haven't tried yet. Then all my old favourites, so this one Clinique, I've got this sample from YSL, which I haven't tried yet. Um, Maybelline, L'Oreal, I think. Uh, this one, which is my fave at the moment, this Maybelline Great Lash. Then of course Benefits, they're real. And this just old friend, uh, Soap and Glory, thick and fast. Then moving down one again, we're into more hair care stuff. So in here is just all hairsprays, um, Tresemme, got to be. I've got the big sexy hair one under here somewhere that I got when I was in America. Um, then back here, styling products. So a giant can of Batiste, because I'm too lazy to wash my hair. My beloved um, OGX Argan Oil. I love this stuff. My oh, also beloved Lee Stafford Dehumidifier Spray. In fact, all of these things are beloved. Uh, heat protection spray, just all styling things. And then further back again, we have the styling things that are not so beloved and very rarely get used. So either like little sample sizes or gel. At one point, I used to wear a lot of gel in my hair. I don't know what that was as a life choice, but... I have a lot of leftover gel and mousse. I can't tell you the last time I used mousse, but there was a time where I, I looked like something out of the 80s, you guys. I used a lot of mousse. So that's all back there. I can't open it. Oh, here we go. This is the draw of shame. Everyone has a draw of shame, and this is mine. This is where havoc reigns, okay? We have... Mostly it's like miscellaneous junk or samples. So, okay, for instance, moisturizers live in here. The My spare brush heads for my number seven thing. I've got samples in here, talc, more perfume is living in here. Uh, what are you, some kind of thing to make me smell nice. Shower gel, that's the word. Body spray, more perfume again living down here. Tissues of every variety, calf kids and frozen, Disney princess tissues as well over here. A variety of tissues for all occasions. Baking powder or bicarb of soda. What are you doing here? Why have you decided to live here? So, um, yeah, this is, let's not dwell on this one. And then back here a little bit in the recess is just like a little jewellery box with nothing in. I don't think uh, one bracelet. And then more junk, a little sample -y things, new brush heads for my toothbrush and razors. And it is the drawer of junk. And then the bottom drawer 
is kind of, it was spare, I didn't have anything to put in it, so I just filled it with a ridiculous amount of candles. I'm sorry, but I just have some kind of weird candle obsession. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of, most of them are really little, these little votive ones, so I don't feel bad because they're only like 80 pence. So that makes it acceptable, right? So I have, I don't know, a million different scents of Yankee candles. And then this candle that my friend Craig made me from Valley Mill, which is Oh, it smells delicious, you guys. So that one is like a special occasion candle. Is that weird to have one of those? I don't know, but that's that. Ta-da! Completed tour of my makeup space. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe if you haven't already. Some days I have makeup on my face. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you guys so much. You are my oddballs and I love you. Let me know what kinds of videos you guys want to see next and if you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I can never remember what that's called. What is that? But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna like go, I don't know, sleep in some ice or something. I'll see y'all soon. Bye! I need to go and sit outside with like a margarita or whatever. I don't think we have margaritas. I'm gonna have to settle for like blackcurrant squash or something. I don't know. The back of my neck is like just the, the damp. So damp. Did you hear that? That was my neck. It's not a good sound, but it feels so good. I can't believe how disgusting my nails are on camera. That is so embarrassing. But equally, I mean, you guys know I'm a slob, so that's okay. To be entirely honest, just be grateful that I'm not filming this video in my bra and pants because that is what I want to do right now. I am so warm. Oh, oh, baking. You do such wonderful things to my face. Then we blush.